Wheels are turning. Let's see if I mess uh, that up. What? We are live. Bourbon Shenanigans is already with us on YouTube. We all, At the same time, uh, something we started, thanks to Charles, Drinking Caveman with Whiskey Untitled is uh, broadcasting on Instagram as well. So it's going over here. Hello to everybody that's tuning in. There's Causeway Coast Whiskeys. I didn't shave. And Whiskey Edge joined in. You can see I didn't shave more on Instagram than you can in the lighting there. <laughs> now, the only problem with Instagram is you have to have the vertical right camera you can't go i like the vertical no the portrait not for video i think it's fine no as long as you're you gotta have the, you gotta have horizontal horizontal video yeah like this i like vertical no if we're that youtube shows, that just gotta, shows how much how out of touch you are i think if you're youtubing you've definitely got to be landscape mode yes if you're instagramming it's quick it's fast it's it's ad hoc all right Looking at the back of them, I can't tell the difference. Nope. Uh, I believe exactly the same. The only way you can tell the difference is on the front, right on the above the... Now, what this chart is, what I didn't realize when we shot the first video, this is basically highlighting the weeks when the Balvin repeats for each year. Got it. So, right above that, it shows 2002 vintage and 2003 vintage over here. So... Uh, we had the 2003 vintage. This was the new Love bottling. It. it showed up here. Very surprised by it. We never received or had the 2002. Never even saw it. Mm -mm. King Anonymous, one of our Patreon supporters, arranged for us to get this one. The King. That's how we like to say he arranged for <laughs> us to get us. But he or she. He or she. And uh, so we wanted to do them side by side. We've heard there's some differences between the two. Right. And... There's been a lot of buzz about the new one, the 03 one here. Let's we start. created a lot of buzz. Could be just us. <laughs> <laughs> so 2003 Balvany Pete Week will be on the right. Go ahead. Yeah. That's in your Riedel cognac right. glass. I wanted to put the, the one we've recently had in the Riedel. All right. Both of these bottled as well at 48.3%. Delicious. Uh, we, do you want to go uh, up front like that? And leave the sure. Why not? Okay. Look at that. <clears throat> and again, we're going live on Instagram as well. It's going over here, so we might be checking comments over Look here. Over now there. they scroll quicker, so I can't see them There's as long as we can watch scroll. over here. A lot of people tuning in already for yeah. the Monday. It's been a while since we shot. Yeah, we haven't done an impromptu in a while. And I want to say there could be some interruptions even here. Wife's home upstairs. <laughs> grandson is here because there's a new granddaughter that was born whoop, a day and a half ago. That's right. Actually, yesterday at like one in the morning. Well, let's say step granddaughter. Sure. You step. Yeah. But trust me, grandson who's four or almost four is here calls me grandpa. So mm -hmm. I can't be like, I'm step grandpa boy. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But for those out there wondering, because you're so sure, young. I'm youthful in appearance. About being a grandpa. Right. Well, I, biologically, my two sons are only 11 and 9. There you go. Hopefully, I'm a ways away it's, from grandfather. And it's not one of those. Right. That Thankfully, just a dad. correct. So, however, stepdaughter's 25. <laughs> <laughs> I see bourbon blind, legally blonde, mm. cleavers 88. Several people uh, comment and watch it. Ooh, over here on the nose is very different already. I pick up a lot more peat on the 2003. Oh, me too. Well, me too. A lot more. Yeah. Which is, and that's one thing we had heard. On the, uh, wow, on the uh, the O2, the smell I get is almost like if you've had a black cat just explode. I get a little bit of a gunpowdery sweetness. You know what I mean by when, you know how you get that sulfury sweetness? It's not quite sulfur, though. Hmm. And I get something I just, else. I can't. It's a lot weaker nose. It's a lot weaker nose. The 2002, uh, again, Balvenie Peat Week, 2002 to 2003. More right. peat on the 2003 edition. A lot more, tons more. I get caramel on the uh, the O2. Let's just stick really to it first. Okay. I really get a rougher nose on, harsher. Yeah, more there's alcohol a little bite. sting. Yeah, there's a little, a little sting. sting to it. I almost get like caro syrup, which is like a, a corn syrup. I just get what seems to be a faint, faint peat. Like I said, the afterness and of the black cat is a little tiny firework. You're getting a lot of congratulations for becoming a new oh, grandpa again. Thank you. 
That's a girl. Yeah. Sophia. To go with her brother then. Yeah, that's right. Boy and a girl. Yep, that's right. We went to the hospital uh, yesterday. And all I kept hearing was, this is it. This is it. That's <laughs> it. I'm like, well, okay. Probably a good time to call. Yeah, Shimon is pointing out the older one is more of a mellower Pete. It It's very mellow. Um, Daniel Bayer has the 2003 so good, he says. Oh, the 03 is very, very good. I'm going, I'm, I'm giving the edge on the nose to the 03. Oh, well, well, and especially when you're talking Pete. Ooh, yeah. You know, the it just reminds me so much of the Lagavulin 12 2017. Yes. Such nice vanillas. Right. Pete. You're still able to get the vanilla while the peat is really effervescent. Effervescent? Effervescent, not epper. Effer. <laughs> ah, uh, Bimmer72 Addiction is asking the cost. These are both, in our area, at least right under $100. 90 to $99, I think I've seen them for. With the caveat, we never saw the O2 come through our area. Yeah. It didn't make Kansas, or at least it didn't make Wichita. And I know we've had some comments or some questions people asking if the new one is worth 120 i, yes. I think it is i would go that high i've told it. people i would go to one you have three bottles now don't you I... you have two you got two you've bought two i got two i got two Love okay it. let's go and i'm gonna start with the 2000 2002 yeah we got to start with the one we haven't had yet i know how much i love the 03 we got people tuning in on both. I see people commenting on Instagram, and they're also commenting on YouTube. So, so on my Rito glasses, the 03, the 02 is in my regular Glen Karen with the Tampa Bay Whiskey Society logo from Long Island. I got a Malted in Montreal shirt on. You do. He gave that to me when we met up in OKC. I got this shirt directly from Diageo in Japan. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Turns out they like manga. Uh -huh. Okay, I bought it. Not from Diageo. I saw a guy at Walmart yesterday wearing a manga shirt, and then I should have taken his picture to send you just so you can he see. He looked cool, didn't he? Did That's he have I'm a saying. mullet? Did he have a mullet? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't have anything against mullets. Well, back in the 80s, a lot of us had them. <laughs> I had a buddy that permed his mullet. Made it all look cool. All right, we got to we got to focus. We got to focus. I'm on the, to the 80s. I'm on the 2002. It's very nice on the palate. There's a lot of the honeys, the balvenie honey, the sweetness, vanillas, just almost like a uh, a Buna Haben unpeated okay. version, though. Oh, it's like there's uh, Pete's way in the background here. Yeah, it's good. It's there. It's not. A beat over your head kind of peat smoke, though, no. either. It's it's just a, a, a waft of smoke. Mm -hmm. It comes in in the aftertaste, almost like a roasted f flavor of the smoke. What were you laughing at? Somebody laughing about Julia shirts? Julia Photography said, you two are hilarious. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Gilbert keeps hitting the dislike button, but it doesn't seem to work. Right. <laughs> you can only hit it once. Yeah. Yeah. And, we, and, and technically that's times. still engagement. We don't care if it's dislike or like a thumb up or a thumb down. You're engaging. Uh, tr Travis H has a good question. 2003 Balvenie or the 2017 Lagavulin 12 year, same price. Which one? Probably so that's another live. That's another live. That would be, yeah. That's a or, that's a versus. Or we there. do a versus. This I'll tell you. Show the 2003 Balvenie is yeah yeah. Uh, it's very good. So it it reminded me of a log of the 12 2017 from the get go. That'd be a good versus actually because I don't know how they would they would shake out against but, each other. Okay, so this is the 2002 great dram. Heat week great dram sweetness slight peat almost I, I, I'd almost say like a stale peat. Okay, I mean, I'll just, give you the stale, and that's where I get a roasted almost peanut, but it's not the peanut flavor. It's just a roasting mm -hmm. peaty light. I mean, the peat is not, it doesn't say peat, peat. It just says roasted smoke to me, which is good. And I can see, though, I mean, everybody knows this did not make a huge peat splash. I mean, nobody was, right. I, 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 I well, remember some people talking about it, but nobody was raving about it. 
real quick on Instagram, Whiskey Monster, he's saying the 2002 was an okay, adi okay addition in his opinion. Mm -hmm. 2003 is seriously incredible. Though. Unbelievable. So we're getting ready to get there. Yeah. And we've weighed in. I now, mean, this is good. You know what, though? That 2002 is, is, is smooth. It doesn't feel 48%. It doesn't come across. I mean, it comes across very I'll good. I'll give you that. I would have thought maybe 43. It's thick. This is, the mouth feels nice and velvety. This is still a, a 90, maybe a 91 score in my book. It would definitely be a 90. I would give mm -hmm. it a 90. The flavors there, the sweet honeys there, all the balvany, mm -hmm. balvany characteristics are present with the caveat for me of like you, did somebody say stale smoke? I did. All I right. brought that stale up. smoke. Yeah. I agree, or a roastedness, a roastedness, a stale peat. I mean, it's like there's a light peat, and it's almost like it's just kind of stale. It's just not. It's not pungent. It's not punching out at you. I'll give you that. Hundred percent. Great description. Not stale is in terms of bad. Just subtle, aged. So the 2003, uh, let's see, let's just call out, let's see, I see Amy W., Tash Doan, Doan's, Brolic Whiskey, Party Source Review, Andreas Toft, uh, Rick Haskew, Don, Bourbon Blind, William Slattery, Mash and Drum, Travis H., Eric Gilbert, Lana Lou. I like Amy W., she says, 35 watching, ellipsis, knows how I don't just say dot, 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 only 13 likes, come on, people, A little exclamation all in cap. She's yelling at me. Listen to her. Listen to Amy. Lana Lou's in. Yeah, uh, there's Lana Lou. Chris, What's up? Chris 11209 on Instagram. Uh, Bimmer 72. That's Lana's design. Lilia, Lilia 2 joined, just joined in. Scotch mm. Whiskey Hunter, DW2696. Whiskey Monster, Malt Chronicles. Ooh. A lot of people, Scotch. Hey, hold on. We got a fake. Ding, 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 Cowbell for maybe. Press like Everybody over here is like, what the hell are they doing? Yeah. We got a virtual cowbell. We can't use the phone. 2003, the new edition of the Balvenie Pete Week. Pete. People are going to want to see us shake our heads more. If you want to see us just do a virtual cowbell, uh, you got to do more super chats. <laughs> Holy moly, says Travis H. Mash and Drum is here. Hit the like. Go, Mash. You're on the 03 here, right? I am on the 03. My Rito glass is reserved for the 03. First of all, both of these have great color. That's that light gold straw. The difference is the peat mm -hmm. between the two. Hmm. Take the 2002 edition and add peat to it, and that's what you A little hear. bit richer, though, too. A little bit more viscous, I think. But, boy, does that peat jump. God, I love that. I mean, it's on the it's on the nose. Mia Woodcraft Breath. wants to know if we're like this without whiskey. I mean, this is us. Sometimes. Yep. No, almost all. You, you, you and I hanging out at the office. Yeah. This is it. We're usually got some shtick going on. We were shooting a review earlier. We got a call. Uh, we're we're going to head up to Kansas City in a couple mm -hmm. weeks. We got invited up for a tasting up there. Right. Uh, we were on the line, though, with a, a rep there, and we were drinking Yamazaki 18 We've, at the point. We re It was our 102nd review, and we had to return. We originally, to we went and re-reviewed it, right. but he thought we just sat around on Monday mornings drinking Drink Yamazaki, Yamazaki 18. 18. Yeah. We just... Yeah, that's what we, we do. pour a little bit out for our homies. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles drinking caveman is in. Uh, back look, Charles, I'm still on you, going live on Instagram at the same time as YouTube. Yeah, you called that out. He gave you a shout out, mm -hmm. a shout out. The party source reviews. I am a massive fan of Ardbeg. Me too. Uh, Noah, one of my favorites. Um, I know is good. The uh, the um, I'm trying to remember. Well, first of all, they're all good. Corey Vreckens, one of my favorites. Dark Cove, the committee release, unbelievably good. Mm. But that's hard to find. If I was going to bring up a go to, what anybody could get, Corey Vrecken. Go get the Corey Vrecken. It's phenomenal. The Oogie doll is good. And when we did a head to head. The Oogie went out, but but then I'm I don't know. I mean, they're all good though. Their regular ten years phenomenal. 
Uh, Mike is asking about Kansas City. We are uh, one tasting we're doing is um, private. We'll we'll do a live show. It's not a public tasting. True. That's what he asked. Right. Well, okay. I'm just no, no. I'm not saying it's funny. It just seems exclusively rude, almost. Uh, I thought you'd be vague. You didn't let me finish. Okay. Sorry. Go. Because <laughs> there's a kilt walk that night. That's and the more part. and yes. more whiskey that we will be right. involved. And the in kilt walk well. is public. Yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, and I was told they're going to put me in a kilt. And I warned, not sure you want to see it. And, he, and I was told oh, it should be fine unless you have chicken legs, at which point you could hear birds chirping. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, okay, whatever. Mm. Side by side, the, the, the new edition of the Balvany Pete Week wins out by a couple of points. Big more Very, than a couple for me. You know, if this is a 90, this is a 94, 93, 94. Several points ahead. On that point, I agree. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. This is why, though, I didn't hear about this. I think so, too. I heard good about point. this. Yeah. I mean, this is, if you hear Pete Week, that's a Pete Week. 03 is a Pete Week. However, is this their first Pete Week, though? Have they had more Pete Weeks? I, I believe I believe that's the first one. I think one that's their out. first one. Yeah. And they're the playing around a little bit. And what do I keep calling for after that, 03? A Pete month. Pete month. We need a Pete month. I now, want four weeks of Pete. Also, several years ago, one of the core line releases for Balvany was the 17-year peated cask. Mm -hmm. Nothing like this. Mm -mm. If you had the peated cask and you think this is the same, no. No. The peated cask was a uh, balvany kind of a double casking, but some of its life in bourbon barrels yes. and a small time in a peated cask. Not enough time in a peat cask. And it only picks up a hint of the peat. And maybe right. it wasn't even a double cask. Maybe it spent the whole time in a peated mm. cask, but it didn't pick up that much of the peat. The peat was more like a hint, just a trace of peat in that. I mean, if you figure 5% peat, 95% balvany, this year's release mm -hmm. is 70% peat, 30% Balvenie. Right. Yes. It's Balvenie's Sweet Touch peat style. Mm. Whereas this one's great. The O2 is good. But as a peat head, mm. it, it would have just been, oh, this is Balvenie with a touch of peat. Yeah. Oh, three's and, got me over the moon. And that's what got you when we did the, the new edition, the 2003. You were expecting the Balvany peated cast. 17. Yeah, a I hint, was expecting the 17. A hint of peat. I was like, oh. And oh. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> and I purposefully yeah. didn't reveal anything yeah. or take, because I had tasted I was, it before. Oh, yeah. I was and like, I didn't I was let like, you oh, know. my God. Yeah, I was, I was in like, I was like, oh, yeah. I was in like a, like a shock. I was in a pleasant shock. Uh, I was like an eight-year-old that just had Halloween and has eaten half of his bag of candy. Bimmer72 Addiction wants to know, in the blind tasting, would you be able to tell these apart? Yes. Yes. Easily. Uh -huh. I think so, too. Would I be able to yeah. tell this and the 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 uh, Lafroig, oh, sorry, see, I go to Lafroig, the Lagavulin 2017-12? I don't know. We're going to have to maybe, do a versus on that. Well, maybe that's next, how peated this is. Maybe next week or two weeks. Oh, our God, next impromptu good. live. That's our next You're impromptu. You're talking dirty to me. Yeah. I don't know if that should be an impromptu. I think that should almost be filmed. Because I'm going to, I mean, impromptu, I feel pressured in comments sometimes. Whereas when we're just filming, I feel like I can focus on the dram. What do you think? Uh, Especially was, now that we're on two cameras. I was looking at comments, so I was letting you go. A Keep little going. bit ago, Everwind said about the Yamazaki 18. He just saw it on sale for $699. Mm, Ouch. That's what we're Our saying. bottle is a couple years old. More you actually that, got it for like 200 You got it for like $225. Yeah, two and a quarter. Is, yeah. Um, Bourbon Blind is talking to Everwind, but he says that we say the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is one of our top favorites. That's my favorite bourbon out there, yeah. period. Bar none. One of the top. My favorite top. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the bourbon that set the bar for bourbon. And sadly, next, I like regular Elijah Craig's, uh, their single barrel too, right? Isn't that what they call it? Single barrel? No, they're, they're what do they call it? Single batch. Small batch. Small batch. Just the ni regular I 94 love, proof. Right. Although Elijah I've got my, uh, my handle back here. Whoop. What am I doing? 
that's, <laughs> that's the guaranteed 12 year. It's still got the 12 year on the back here. Um, but this is a phenomenal barrel without being the barrel proof. It's delicious. Elijah Craig, phenomenal. Um, Scotch Four Dummies is asking Drew's on here. He's commenting. He says, Scott, I've been off of the Pete for a while now. Back to the Sherry Bond. That's sad. Have you had That's a roller sad. coaster ride with Pete as well? You know, um, no, Pete has been on a, a slow, gradual incline as far as my interest goes. Mine's more like a hockey stick. I still, <laughs> I still, uh, you know, I still favor others. Peteds are good, especially the good peteds at home. I probably go to a peated whiskey one in 10 nights, something like that. My problem is not going to the peated. Mm. I will look and, and I'll just like, like, like gravitate toward the peat shelf. And then I'm like, stop, stop. I got to try something different. I could do. Uh, the only time I'll move a little bit away from Pete is like July here in Kansas, Wichita. It's 110. And I'm like, ah, oh, God, give me a Jameson. Hmm. Give me a Jameson black barrel. Now, I do have buddies that I work with that are just amazed because I'll pour a dram. And you, I talk about it, but, you know, it's an ounce dram. And it'll last me an hour, yes. hour and a half. Yes. But I, I just amaze. People are amazed that it takes that long to drink a whiskey. They're not connoisseurs. We both, when we worked in the same office, we had people be like, I drank a case of Budweiser over the weekend, threw it by the truck. And I'd be like, what? And they'd be like, well, you drink scotch. I'm like, I don't drink the bottle. <laughs> I, I'm, I literally spent an hour with one ounce. What are you talking? How can you enjoy a case? And they're like, it's all about the consumption. No, no, it's not about the consumption. It's not how much you put down, which is crazy. Now, but, Whiskey Untitled over here on YouTube, he says um, he's on the same path as me with Pete, but a lot lower PPM. Hmm. Yeah, you, the thing is, once you, I mean, it does, for me, it took time and good whiskey. Well, I would agree, once, good whiskey, but it took me one. Yeah. <laughs> and you did convert me. It was you that converted me, which was funny, because uh, I know people have heard the story, but for those that haven't, you called, said, come over. I've got this compass box, Pete Monster. You've got to try mm. it. I come over. I'm inspecting the bottle pre-taste, and it seems very light and clear. And I'm judging it by its clearness. Not because much, there is not no much color. color. And, yeah, and there's no the color label added. design. And the label seemed, it had a little monster, a little sea creature thing. And I'm monster. like, what is this? Yeah. Uh, what is it designed for college kids? You know, as soon as you turn 21, you want some of this? And, uh... And then you literally told me, and I will always remember this. This is a typical quote. You probably said this too many, many times. Why don't you shut up and just try it? <laughs> I have said that. Yeah. And I was like, well said. You poured a little bit. I expected it to be like Everclear because it was so light in color. And I sipped it and I went, oh my God. And you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very judgmental. You were very judgmental on how you were right. I was wrong. And then I converted completely to peat at the moment. I immediately sought out other peat items. And I was on. I was deep. I was swimming in the deep end of the pool, the peat pool. And it was a high PPM pool. Do you remember this talk we had one time about the line down the middle of the bed? Am I encroaching? <laughs> uh, well, you didn't mention bed, first of all. I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm just trying to get more screen yeah, time. I've even went back. I've seen a few of our early reviews. And I say early, it's like through 150, 200. Well, hold on. Bart is literally on top of me. Yeah. He, as the review goes on, he keeps edging and moving in further and further. Well, look, you see, you set this camera up. And for me to be on that camera, I can't be over here where I would normally be. So I had to like at least come in here. <laughs> and that put me in the center of the frame over here. So your double camera setup that you set up really pigeonholed me in to sliding over this way. And the more I can get Instagram time, the better. I'm the only one on Instagram right now. Uh, Beamer's asked uh, about the IW Harper. You know, we have that one. It's been sitting on our shelf over here for a while. We've never gotten around, around to reviewing it. So we just need to knock that one out. So I like the IW Harper. I can't remember much about it. 
Uh, that one's actually mine. There's that one and there's a 15 year version. Um, so we don't have the 15 year version. Uh, hopefully it got better. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. What's the verdict on the Balvenies? The verdict is they're both good, but if you want Pete, go with the O3. The O3 is is not head and shoulders above. It's yeah. mountains above the O2 as far as Pete. If you don't like Pete as much and you just want mm -hmm. a what Scott called a stale, slight version of the Pete, the O2 is good. But all I'm saying is you're hearing the raving of the O3 maybe from Pete heads, but what they've done, if they're only going to spend a week, shock us, shock and awe, baby. Mm -hmm. This is Pete at a shock and awe level from Balvenie. Bam. Yeah, I agree. Um, both good. If I was scoring them, we just got the, the 2002 edition from King Anonymous. King our, Anonymous. Thank you. Patreon supporters. In case you're even on and King Anonymous. Very good still. Uh, about a 90, 91, maybe. 90 for score. me. The 2003 edition, though, add a few points to it. It's a 93, 94, something like that. What Much did I better. originally score that? 95? 96? I, I Whatever it was, it was good. I think you might have been a 94 and I was a 93. I'm giving it the original. exact same score. This is a 90. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this is Pete Delish. But what I hadn't thought is you're right. If you if you if you don't like Pete, this is a much this would probably be a much better bottle for you, the 2002 edition. Definitely. And you would probably think it's got a lot of Pete. If you're not a Pete fan at all and you tried this, you'd go, "Ooh, yeah, that's a little smoky." Um and that's fine. I I forget hmm. sometimes how Pete headish I've gone, and I'll run into somebody and I'll be like, "Try this. This is a little more mild Pete." And they're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> oh god!" And I'm like, "What?" And they're like, "Oh, what did you give me?" And I forget where I'm at is way yeah, over. What'd you here. give them? An Octomore? No. This is a good starter. No, this is what Pete is supposed to be. No, this is what I, you need. Try I give, it. I give them like a Highland Park Twelve, and they're like, "Oh my God, it's like a, it's like I'm choking by a, like a gal smoking." And I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> and I forget though that they're getting all those smoke flavors for the first time. Uh, Daniel Bayer asked. He said, "Did you guys add water? Does it change the taste?" I, I haven't. Water. I haven't. I just reloaded. Though. I don't think it would change it on, that much. Hold on. Let's let's do it because we we routinely do add water. Yeah. So drop for there. I can tell you the O3 doesn't need anything, but it won't all it won't hurt it a bit. It no, I already did. Oh, you already did. Sorry. I was gonna double them down on the drop. My dad did that once with the vodka in a bloody Mary. <laughs> oh let me see. It's got it. They both have beautiful noses. Pete nose is all over the O3. It's more of a sweet honeycombed vanilla nose on there. the O2. You know, they're both really good. They're both really delicious. I just did the 2002 and that, that Balvany character, the honeys, the vanillas are there. There's just not as much peat in the O2 as there is the O3. Not even close. Not even <laughs> close. Is it disconcerting for the YouTubers to see me then focus on the Instagrammers? Hello. What if we had three cameras out here at some point? Yeah, that'd be iPhones better. Up, yeah, we'd be like pop, pop, and then pop. Go live on Facebook over Facebook, there. Facebook, and then we're coming up here, and then we're like over here. That could be done. We might do that. At well, some we could point. move Instagram over here, but we would lose the angle. I kind of like this. I like, like the hard look over. I like the hard. Oh, the more on top of you I can get. Well, yeah. YouTube is the primary. Definitely primary video source right. and comments. We've got 51 people watching on YouTube. Uh, six people are with us on Instagram, but to me, what is this? Yeah, we were at 11 earlier when we first started. What, what that does though, is maybe there's people that can't tune in on YouTube so they can grab us on Instagram and watch. I like them grabbing us. So it, it adds depth. Sure. There you go. Dimension. But I think that's it. What do you think? Uh, anything else you want to throw in there? I love it. I think hey, we uh, should read off a few more comments. So before cask, we go, cask four coins are up for pre-order. We're almost out of cask three True. coins. If you have a cask three coin and you want the same number, go order your cask four coin right now on scotchtestdummies.com. Bears. We board. are including a four by six signed photo of us Who didn't want that? with your pre-order of the cask four coins. Signed. 
Yep. Who doesn't want that? Bears Blend says, Balvany makes some great whiskey. True enough. Love the 14. I love the Caribbean cask. The 12. Yep. Uh, Doublewood's great. And want to try the rest. Uh, though the new 12-year Glenn Rothless comes close. It just moved on me and maybe beat it. No, it doesn't beat it. What do you think? Have you had it? Yeah. The Glenn Rothless 12-year? I've had all the Glenn Rothless. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we haven't seen the Glen Rothes 12 years, so that one's hard to call. God, I can't believe we haven't had it. In our five years, we haven't had the Glen Rothes 12 I don't 12 know if there's years? been a Glen Rothes 12. You're sure. Come on. What do we have, the 15? Um, the ones that we've had are either NASs or maybe they have a distillation date and a bottling date on them. We've had the Vintage Reserve. What do you got back there? The Bourbon Cask. And the peated cask. Who was the fan that had like 87 bottles of the Glen Scotch Rothes? minis. God, see, that's where on you're Instagram. good. On Instagram. You're good on that. How do you do that? <laughs> how do you, out of the, I mean, I just threw something out of left field. That was worse than left field. That was like the parking lot. And you're like, Scotch minis, Instagrammer. <laughs> that's right. I'm like, how the heck do you do that? Yeah, he had a heck of a collection. And uh, generally, we've had something, and he'll tell you the month and, and year we've had it. And meanwhile, I'll just tell you, I don't know. Oh, um, oh, Aqua Vitae is here. We're going to meet up. We're actually going to Austin, Austin. Texas this yes. Thursday. We were invited by um, the Whiskey Tribe, right. the Whiskey Vault. Although my work is continually trying to keep me here. <laughs> but they're twice uh, they've been like, can you stay? No, I've got to go. They're having the grand opening of their uh, Crowded Barrel crowded Distillery. Barrel. Crowded Barrel. Um, I'm just saying the name's interesting. Crowded barrel. You remember where it came from? I don't. Because it's crowdsourced. Oh, genius. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I thought you were going to say Tolkien or something. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so Thursday we are going down. We're going to meet Roy Aqua Vitae at the Austin airport. Pick Bam. Him up. And then uh, Friday, we're like, hang a live, out. we're like a scotch test dummy Uber. Well, and because someone was asking, are we going to go live? I know Thursday night, yeah. Roy, Roy usually goes live on Thursdays. Mm. And he's asked, do you guys mind if we go live on my channel? Absolutely not. We we'll probably do several. Sure. There could be several lives coming Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It could get crazy. Yeah. So Saturday, um, which is the 25th, Fifth. is actually the Crowded Barrel Distillery opening. We'll be there through most of the day Saturday hanging out with I think uh, we're double booked fans. on something Friday. Now, we got to figure that out. Friday that night. That was my fault. Well, we didn't know it. There's not, I mean, there's, sure. I don't think there's any fault. We're highly sought out. Well, yeah. if, if there's fault, I take it. <laughs> um, what was I going to? Oh, Whiskey Dick. Uh, Bill is also coming down. Whiskey what? And Whiskey Dictionary. Thank you. Not to be confused. thought that was dirty. Chad and Sarah from It's Bourbon Night will Love also be that. there. I can't wait to meet them. Not that I don't want to meet Whiskey Dick. But I was going to say, you I were wanna, very enthusiastic right there I with was Chad like, and Sarah. what? Yeah, I'm like a fan. I'm, but it's you know what Bill. kills me? They don't try. No, I love Bill. What kills me with the Bourbon Nights. <laughs> just teasing. What kills me is they don't drink scotch. Or or when they do, we, did, we had them on a live show. We had to go really, really simple. Yeah. And I said, or we arranged for them Which to get fine. a few samples. We and did. after that live show, some other uh, fans of theirs had sent them some samples. Would as well. they convert? And it, yeah, I don't think anything no. really uh, converted over to their palate. No nope. scotch wise. Nope. Which They're surprises me. That, that just surprises me. It does me too. I can't There's, wait to talk to them. Yeah. They're bourbon we, experts though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, because when we started, we were just scotch, and then right. we branched out. We were like, look, we're in the stage. Bring There's it all. all. These bourbons. Bring, yeah, we're right here. Before you know it. Ralphie's doing... got scotch next door. He's like, I walked over to the distillery, and I got a little something right out of the, the, the you know, whatever, right out of the cask. I'm like, geez. And, I, and we were like, let's add in some bourbons. We got bourbons all over. Yeah. But I like... Um... Scott. We've had we've well, I mean, we've had whiskeys from Ireland, Australia, Japanese, Taiwan, Japanese, Jap Japan, right. Taiwan, Tasmania, Canada, right, Canada, Canada, all over the states. Good, yeah. We've had rye whiskeys, bourbon, God. American whiskeys, Canadian whiskeys, single malts, right. heated single malt, sherry cask. Yes, 
Irish triple distilled, Akintosh and triple Russia distilled. needs to do a whiskey. They probably they need, do. They need a malted whiskey. Vodka thing. is whiskey in Russia. Yeah. But it, it just surprises me though, the bourbon drinkers that find scotch really harsh. I mean, there's there there are differences. There's big differences, but that's what I love. Yeah. Lana Lou told me the same thing. The Tampa Bay Whiskey Society leans, they try everything, but they lean bourbon. I was like, really? You know, I don't know why I thought that would be different, but I really thought, I don't know. I thought it would be a, a wide range of everything. And they do, they did some single barrel. They did a single barrel even from Compass Box. So I should, but I mean, she said they lean bourbon-ish. So not that there's anything wrong with bourbon. I actually get a lot wider flavor spectrum from, from scotch. Just me. But I love the peat. That's a whole another topic. That's a good show. Do you want to wrap it? <laughs> I think we should. We've probably been, I'm not sure how long we've been live. It's been long enough. We looked at the Balvenie 14 year Pete week, 2002, 2003 edition. Both good. The To me, the 03 is a few notches better than the 02. Both good. Wow. Mountains ahead. And fact is, we had had a comment when we did the 2003 edition. I can't remember who it was from. Lana Lou says bourbon's cheap. Uh, it's, it's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper. But the uh, huge difference, she says. We had a comment come in on the 2002 edition. Someone had it and said they couldn't detect any peat on it. Mm. You know, they'd had it. Blah, I could blah. see it's very subtle. And I'm like, well, you don't have the 2003 edition. Then go pick up the 2003 edition if you right. can find it. Yeah, no, no, no nonsense. Whiskey's already left us. Uh, the 2002 has been open for a couple weeks now, um, and a dram or two out of it. It's still good. Don't get us wrong. There's just not as much peat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Still good. I give it a 90, 91. This is a 93, 94. Mm -hmm. couple, couple points ahead. 90, 120. <laughs> just kidding. I think I give it a 94. So it's very, very good, though. Well, hey, thanks to Instagram. Uh, everybody's loading off over here. here. Yep. Loading off. I don't know what I'm saying here. Uh, whiskey and a beard. Whiskey and a beard. It sure is. Are they pushing it out? That's it. <laughs> I don't know. That one live stream Maybe I was talking why. about a yeah, limited push. edition run. I said they pushed it out. I, I like, like how I'm framed here. Right. I feel like my head's right on the hmm. Hello. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you guys uh, from Austin this upcoming. No, no show from us Saturday. Right. Well, are we going to preset? Well, one? no, no pre. No, we don't have one. We didn't record one because we were going to be in. We could like maybe we bump one up. We didn't. We talked about not doing one because we were going to be in Austin. Thought we talked about scheduling, but whatever you want to do, I'm good with. I don't care. We're doing a live There'll show. There'll be a live show from yeah. there. It was why. Whatever. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salonja, dummies. Dummies. Whew. Go three. Ha, 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 ha.